Hey AF families, this is a brief tutorial on how to get set up on Kickboard's Family Portal. First thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the App Store, whether that is on uh, Apple or in Google. You're going to download the app. You're going to make sure that you allow all notifications to make sure that you do get messages from the, um, your scholars' teachers as they come in. Now you want to select the family member and click Next. And here, you don't actually have an account just yet, so you want to, at the bottom where it says need to sign up or add another student, enter access code. You want to click on that link. Here you're going to enter the access code. Now this access code was provided by your school. And just for the sake of creating an example here, I have a sample student, Han Solo. I'm going to go ahead and copy that access code so that I can paste it in uh, in the app as it's requested. So I've copied, now I'm going to go back, I'm going to paste the access code. Again, you should have received this from your school. And now I need to enter the birthday. Now this is the scholar's birthday, it's not your birthday. So in this case, the student is Han Solo. And I'm going to say Han Solo's birthday is December 26, 2008. And just go ahead and hit next. Now on the next screen, you're going to enter your email. Once you do enter your email, you're going to receive an email notification from Kickboard. It's just a notification that you've signed up for an account and it's going to give you a verification code. So here I've entered Hans Mother Solo at gmail.com. I hit continue and now you're going to see that I receive an email. So there it is. I received my email. Now I can navigate to my Gmail account, I can open that email, and I can copy that verification code, that WZUYP0 that looks like. So I copy it, bring it back over to my Kickboard app. I want to enter that verification code and I'm going to go ahead and create a password. Now from here, you do want to make sure that you edit your name. So you're going to click on the little gear icon in the top right corner. And once you do, you're going to now click on your email address for that little arrow pointing to the right. And this is going to allow you to enter your name as well as your phone number. Now if you want teachers to be able to call you directly from the app, then you should enter your phone number here. And again, you'll just enter your first name, your last name, and your phone number. Your email address is already set based on the account that you just created. So we'll just say my name is Lou Solo and enter my phone number as 718-555-5555 and call it good. Now this essentially concludes the first video. There will be another video created. You can follow the link in the comments below. And that video is related to the dashboard and how to actually check on your students' activities as well as respond to any messages that you receive from your teachers or um, create any messages yourself. Again, that concludes this video. Check out the other video.